Mo's Garage. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, YouTube. Welcome back to Jimbo's Garage. I'm Jimbo. Well, today we're going to be looking at and replacing the tube on a tire of a wheelbarrow. Uh, my guys drop these things off in the shop at least once a week, and I just thought it would be appropriate to uh, show you how we replace the tube on a tire for a wheelbarrow. Pretty, probably pretty happens pretty commonly around uh, whether it be your construction site or your yard or, or in the garden or whatever you're doing. Um, most people and most tires today, you can get at the uh, uh, big box stores or wherever you pick them up, they've gone to these solid rubber tires. And uh, you know, that's great because you're never going to get a flat ever. The problem with a solid rubber tire is they're heavier, they don't roll as good, especially when they got a load of two, three hundred pounds on them. Uh, they're sluggish and slow and hard to operate. My guys prefer the tubes in the tire. They're a lot lightweight, a lot more lightweight, a lot more easier to roll on, on surfaces, and it's an easier job for them. So we're gonna show you how to replace the tube in the tire. Let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and get the, obviously get the, uh, get the tire off the, off the wheelbarrow here so we can get it over the workbench so we can do the work there successfully. There it is. All right, let's take it over to the workbench. Okay, well, the first thing we're gonna do, these things can be a pain in the ass sometimes. The first thing we're gonna do is get the old tube out. So I'm gonna reach in here, get the old tube, pull it out. Okay, so there's the old tube. Wow, check that out. That ain't just a hole. That's a that's a blowout right there. Yeah, that tube's no good. I couldn't even repair that if I had to. All right, well, get that out of the way. Here's a new tube. All right. Okay, and the first thing you want to do, you can get these to the local hardware store. Probably they match these tires. They're they're pretty. Uh, eight inch tires are pretty common. First thing you want to do, be sure you get a 480 by four by eight tube, which uh, that's what this is right here. It says it right on there. Uh, 480 by four by eight inch. So we got the right tube in there. The next thing you do is get the tube in. Find the, uh, find the hole for the valve stem. Kind of work the tube in there. All right, now what we're gonna do is take the valve stem off right here. And we're gonna feed it through the uh, hole in the rim. Like so, and Pull it up there tight. The valve sub back on. Okay, and then the next part's the fun part. And uh, that's trying to get the tire on the rim. This is where you have a bit of, bit of a problem usually. So I start by, first of all, what we want to do, got this two inch piece right here on both sides. It's kind of awkward on the bench. I like sticking it up on top of that. It's a little bit easier to work with. A little bit, not much. All right. It's pretty, it's pretty difficult. What you want to do is definitely try not to puncture the rim, which happens quite often in these things. Sometimes it's better to put a little Windex on here. You know, that, that kind of helps a little bit. All right, just about have it here, one more. And, There we go. All right. 
Yeah, it's on. Let's get some air in it. Hope we didn't puncture the tube, which is pretty common. Sometimes it's hard to do that. Okay, there it is. On. Got a lot of air in it. Seems to be holding. All right, there you go. Let's get it back on the wheel drill. Okay, YouTube, after we got all the bolts tightened up and everything tightened up, and we got the, uh, got the tube in the tire, nice and solid, nice and hard, we're ready to go for service. Uh, all complete. I think my guys are going to be happy, at least for a short period of time until the next one goes bad. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this short little video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks. See you next time on Jimbo's Garage.